Hello everyone. So I get asked a lot about cardstock storage and cardstock scrap storage because obviously if you scrapbook or make cards, that is a major thing where you're going to put, you know, cardstock scraps, store your cardstock, etc., etc. So I always put off showing this video because I've never, I always wanted to reorganize everything and have everything proper, but what's the point in that? This has worked for me for years and I don't really plan on changing it, so I'm just going to show you guys as is. So you can see the top of my desk right now. I have a narrow drawer at the top of my desk and that is where I store what I would call, let me set that there for a minute, um, immediate scraps. Like as I'm working on something, once I'm done with it, I chuck it in here. When it gets full, it goes somewhere else, but I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. Um, and yeah, I'll get questions about my desk in these drawers. That'll be a separate video. Cause yeah, it's from bestscrapbookshelf.com, but I'll do a video about my desk later on. Anyway. Um, yeah, I put, just chuck all my scraps here in this drawer. What I used to do is I used to have one of these, this is a 12 by 12, um, box. I'd actually got this at Costco when, um, sometimes with their pattern paper collections you can buy from there. I don't remember what I did with pattern paper. I think I gave away most of it because I never ended up using it. But the box itself is really sturdy. So I used to, before I had this desk, I used to have this stored under my desk or near my desk and I would just chuck all of my scraps into here. So same idea. And then once it got full, it was time to actually organize it. And I also will dig through these scraps. When I go to make a card, if I'm thinking about a certain color, like I want a pink piece of cardstock, white, whatever, I'll like kind of rifle through here to find what I need before going through any of my other cardstock storage. So that's what I do for the first um, bit of scrap storage. Alrighty, and then for my second bit of scrap storage, or major part of scrap storage, I have this two-drawer filing cabinet. I got this at Staples a few years ago. Um, and take into consider, this is years of stamping. Like, it took me a long time to build up this much cardstock, let alone this many, like, scraps. But I have all these hanging file folders, and then I've got manila folders in each file. I usually keep at least two different folders in each. And then I originally had this all organized according to Stampin' Up! colors because I used to be a demo. This is what I started with Stampin' Up! And 99% of all the cardstock I use is Stampin' Up! So this still works, but they've, you know, redone their color system a couple times since I've done this. And that's why I was waiting. I was going to reorganize everything according to the new colors, but... I still think in the old system. I still know, I know where everything is exactly what color is where according to this one. So that's why I've never even bothered. Plus it's a lot of work. So I just keep all the colors the way they were and then any of the new in color lines, I've just been chucking into this first file and it's, and that's why I never know the names of the new colors because it's not even labeled because yeah, I've just been chucking them in there. But anyway, yeah, I used just manila folders and then I'd used um, white mailing labels and I'd stamped each color onto there and then just used a Sharpie marker to label each color. So only orange, real red, etc. And then, yeah, I just chuck, that obviously doesn't belong in there, my cardstock scraps into um, the files. So rule of thumb, I don't keep tiny, tiny little scraps. Like if it's smaller than about this, I chuck it out completely, but everything else I keep. And again, when I go to make a card, if I need a piece of cardstock, I go here before I even touch my actual um, full size cardstock. And then I always keep in the front of each file, I keep card sized pieces left over from other things. Um, if it's the size of a card, and some of them are already scored, I just stick those in the front. So again, I go here and I check the front of my files. If I want to make a card base in a certain color, um, I'll go and check the front of my file first, because more often than not, I'll actually already have a base there and use that. And then sometimes I will throw full size pieces of cardstock in behind this. And actually originally when, um, before I had a huge collection of cardstock, I stored all my cardstock like this. I'd have, the full size sheets in the back of the file, the two manila folders for all the different scraps and the card size all in one, and then it was all stored in one spot. But now, because I have so much card stock, I can't fit it all in here, like it wouldn't even all fit in here, but again, I'll show that in a minute. So yeah, all my Stampin' Up! card stock is this top drawer, which is, yeah, the majority of what I use. 
And then in the bottom here, I just have um, all my white cardstock, like my CC Designs Cobra Quality cardstock. I always like to stock up on that kind of stuff. So I have plenty of the heavyweight. This is like the 90 pound, their sand cardstock. And then I've got just various random um, stuff from other companies. Different, like this is just Walmart Georgia Pacific. Um, vellum that kind of stuff just this stuff's all random and stuff I hardly ever use I just kind of keep right in the back so and none of it's really labeled because I just know offhand what it is um yeah so that's how I just use the rest of my cards like and same with scraps I just throw them into the files into the very um, front of the file so again when I'm going to use like white card stock I'll check the front of the file see if I have the size I need before I cut into a full sized piece. So for the bulk of my cardstock storage I have again my IKEA Expedite units. I've shown this main one along the bottom in my stamp storage video but above it I have this great big unit here. Let me move the camera back a little further. Alrighty. So, yeah, we've got this unit. This is sitting on top of a four-square IKEA Expedite unit. Um, my hubby helped me move this unit up here because with all these cube inserts, this thing weighs a ton. Um, normally, the units come um, just as is, and then you can buy all these inserts separately at IKEA. So, that's what I did. Because that is the first thing everyone should know is with cardstock storage, whether it be your pattern paper, cardstock, etc., when it comes to scrapbooking and card making, you need to keep them stored in the dark, out of direct sunlight, because sunlight will fade and destroy your cardstock. So all along the top here is where I keep um, all my cardstock stored, since I don't need to reach for it too often because I've got like my scraps and my sheets in the little drawers, so I don't need to worry about this. And yeah, this is really kind of high up for me. I'm having to reach, but since I don't have to reach in here too often, it's not a big deal. But I have everything stored according to um, the Stampin' Up! color families, same as in my scrap drawers. So it starts with the glorious green and goes all the way through to the settles and then all my in colors and then neutrals in the last couple. And then I've got um, a few more neutrals and then some random, I think this is basil cardstock that I had for years and I don't really reach for too often, but I've just kept it in here. So, and then just extra pieces and um, extra packs have just been kind of slipped in between as these ones are too full. And these are just the cardboard um, magazine holders from Ikea that you can buy in bulk. They're, like, I think a pack of three or five. I can't remember, but they're cheap anyway. So I use those to hold it and then it keeps everything in place. And I like storing all my cardstock vertically just because it's easier to get in and out to grab the sheets as I need them. Because if it's horizontally, then you're really just got a mess going on. Um, and yeah, all my cardstock's 8.5 by 11. I don't do 12 by 12. I just find it's um, a pain in the butt for cutting and using because I always make standard A2 size cards. So that's, you know, half a sheet of 8.5 by 11. Plus, storing 12 by 12 cardstock is a pain. Um, it will fit in these units, but um, you either have to store it flat, if you want to store it vertically, um, the vertical 12 by 12 holders, like the iris ones, I think that's what they're called, I can't remember. Um, this is an 8.5 by 11 obviously, but like the 12 by 12 ones, they're quite a bit wider and a lot taller. If you're using an Expedite unit, you have to cut off um, the top part of these for them to fit, because otherwise they won't, so 12 by 12 is just a pain for me, so I don't work with it at all, really. So, yeah, that is how I keep all of my cardstock stored. I hope this helped you guys and maybe gave you a few ideas of how to store your own. If you have any neat ideas of how you store it, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!